to be considered safe and effective for the general public. More than 25,000 people have received this particular vaccine. The Pfizer vaccine is a part of the phase three studies, and it's actually amazingly side effect free. And these factors are why Dr. Huth says he'll be the first person to get the vaccine when it arrives in Richmond. When you balance the risk and the benefits, it seems like a really good um, idea to do this and so we're going to do it ourselves first you don't have to worry about being first we'll be there first before you the vaccine is expected at Reed health on thursday and dr hughes said he'll be first in line in springfield kayla Cravel, news center seven and now your storm center seven forecast with chief meteorologist mccall bright eggs yeah there she is uh, mccall's talking about uh, the way it looks when all of us go to bed tonight will be different than possibly when we wake up in the morning huh Oh yeah, some of us are already going to be looking at some light snow as you head out the door early tomorrow. And you can clearly see on live Doppler 7 radar that snow is inching closer and closer to the Miami Valley. We did have the cloud cover that moved back in for us today and has been gradually increasing as we've been moving through the afternoon and early evening. Now that we're approaching the midnight hour, those snow showers themselves are less than 200 miles away. Now, it is not going to be a very heavy snow that we're going to be dealing with, but it may be impactful at times. So as you're hitting the roads early tomorrow morning, be mindful that we may have a few slick spots. And here's why. Because Temperatures are already dipping back into the 20s across the area, so that's below freezing. That's just the air temperature. The road temperature is still around that 30 degree mark, so not necessarily going to take on the snow immediately, but because the snow comes in in the darkness of the night and before pre-dawn tomorrow, we might have a few isolated slippery spots in the morning commute. By midday, we'll see some rain actually mixing in with the system, so the roads will improve. They'll be mainly wet, and then as we move past sun set tomorrow night. Anything that's wet or untreated and collecting more snow will obviously become slippery once again. Future cast, I'll take you through hour by hour past midnight tonight. We'll have those snow showers already moving into the area. By 6 o'clock in the morning, notice some steady light snow in a few locations. More widespread precipitation by lunchtime, but again, across the south, we're seeing some warmer air surging in, and that's bringing in some rain and a little bit more of a wet snow as you head further north. We'll have that wintry mix through the afternoon, and as we get back into the evening hours, there may be this quick little transition back over to light snow before this all tapers off into your Wednesday night. On Thursday, we'll keep the clouds in place. At times, there may be some light drizzle or flurries out there. Uh, nothing more in the way of accumulating snowfall, but still we're under the influence of this system. Right now, it looks like our snow totals will be around an inch of snow for many of us. Higher amounts as you head to the north and northwest as you'll see the snow prolong longer. So out the door in the morning, grab the warm jacket, the winter gear, the ice scraper as well as we'll have. Again, that snow falling, especially if you're going to be out past sunset tomorrow evening. You might have to clear off your car a bit more. Temperatures tomorrow will hover around slightly above that freezing mark. And then we're going to be looking at a gradual warm up toward the weekend. Your weekend in view shows that we are in the 40s. Saturday, there is a chance for some showers that will be crossing through during the afternoon hours, but overall, the weekend doesn't look half bad. A big story again is tomorrow, so just be on the lookout for some snow that could lead to some slippery roadways. All right, McCall, you have a little homework assignment before we check in you next. I had somebody text me. I don't know what the paint color is on your, uh, on your recently finished basement, so find that paint can and let us know at the end of the newscast. Okay, somebody loves it. We'll see it just a bit. You know, with holiday traditions changing this year. Doctors have advice on exchanging gifts safely, what they recommend, and the festivities you should think about saving for next Christmas.